Okay, so I have here the Philips Philips LCD panel. Sorry about the focus. Why is the focus so bad? Okay, stopped working. Actually, work very little. I seen the number of times it. I've used it maybe 20 times and then it stopped working. This is a Philips model. Trying to find out how to disassemble the panel now. No screws. No screws. How should I open it? Ah, Philips, Philips, Philips. how to open this one. Let's try to use some tools. Anyway it doesn't work so I can break it more than it is broken. Okay so Just by force, there are clips. I don't know exactly where they are, but using a screwdriver, to get it open. Pretty mystery how to open it. How oh, should I open this shit? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It should open somehow. Okay, this shouldn't be open. Anyway, the way it is built, it didn't mean that someone will open it. <laughs> this is for sure. So I will open it by hook and by cook. Oh, this was difficult. Oops. 
Philips Philips. Wow, this was difficult. Okay. So they didn't really build it to open. Okay, let's see what do we have here. How to continue open it? Another mystery by Philips. Maybe they don't have any screws. I don't believe it. Oh, this is sh <laughs> I'm pretty speechless. Close without screw. This is closed with stickers. Unbelievable. Oh. Now I understand now it is not working. Such a thing, I have to admit. <laughs> okay, so I will unplug all the plugs one, two, and then we have the LVDS LCD signals. the control something I will leave it inside now I will try to understand why this is not working before doing it make sure main capacitor is discharged where is the main capacitor let's try maybe this Oh, I see five volts. Okay, I don't really know where is the main. Oh, I see the main capacitor. I see it. Yes, this is the main capacitor. Five five volts. Oh, this is not the main capacitor. Okay. So I will open it gently. Try not to explode everything because I'm not sure where is the main capacitor. Okay, so Philips are using Philips screws in their TV. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's try to see what is going here.
no electronics. <laughs> A very little electronics. Okay, now let's see. Yes, the main, this is the main capacitor. Which I've seen 5 volts instead of 220. Let's see what is the value of this one. The value is exactly the opposite side that I can get to it. But it should be, of course, the main voltage because there is the diode bridge and I have 5 volts, which is, of course, not, not good enough. So let's check. I have here a fuse and a varistor. This is okay. The fuse is also okay, so let's try to sync why it is not waking up. There is another fuse here, let's check it, it's also okay. I don't expect any bad soldering. So, why well, it is not working? It should be something with the main power supply, of course. Let's check the diode. Everything is okay, but it is not powering up. Let's try to see if I see something about the PCB. something I do see I see something in the entrance coil but it's okay also the soldering is not very well. So the capacitor looks like it has a bad soldering. This is strange because it's a brand new LCD. I will show you what I mean about bad soldering. Let's use the microscope to see this. This is the only problem. Okay. So I will zoom. Show 
as the soldering is not well. Yes, yes, the soldering is not well. It's pretty interesting because I wouldn't expect it to be like this, but the soldering is not good. Okay, probably this is the problem. I will try to fix it. I will show you in the cam in a second how it looks, the bed soldering. Okay, if you look closely around the connector, so we will see. You will see that. I will try to show here. You will see a line. The line is an open soldering. I will uh, use my uh, iron soldering in order to go over this and you will understand better what is a good soldering. Sorry about the movement because it's pretty uh, complicated to uh, to take it in my arm to the LCD, connect it and show you everything. Okay, so I will now go over the soldering. Show what is a good soldering. Okay, after it is heat, of course, okay, I will fix, I will add solder paste and then uh, show you how it looks. This is how it should look when everything is okay without the line between the pin and the solder. With, uh, okay, now I will assemble it back and check it. Okay, so now I've assembled everything back. Now let's do the real test. So let's connect again the camera and the HDMI. I will remind you that it was a power on problem. Looks like the power supply didn't output any voltage because it was like it is dead. Okay. So let's now power on the device. Just a second, I want to connect it to power. Haha, <laughs> surprising this is working. Let's wait for the HDMI picture. Yes, it is working. So just few bad soldering uh, that I found, fix it all. But uh, this is a very cheap, I guess, Philips. If you are finding a LCD without uh, screws, so you should suspect that the electronics inside will be very cheap. But eventually, as you can see, it was worth trying to open it and before throwing it to garbage. One, one step before the garbage and it is okay. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Thank you and bye bye.